Good morning, everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Fifty Shades of Cringe with just... So, on today's episode, I'm going to take you through a day in my life as a senior aerospace engineering student at Purdue. So, first things first, it's actually 5 a.m. I know, 5. That's typically when I wake up, or should be waking up, because I sleep at 9 p.m. To get kick-started with my day, I'm going to go on a run. I do that every morning. I'm not gonna take you through brushing my teeth or doing like a 27 step skincare routine because I'm not a beauty guru and I don't have a routine. If I had a routine, my skin would show. So that speaks for itself. But anyways, let's quickly get into it. I'm gonna put on my outfit, grab a water bottle maybe, and yeah, put on some, put on some vibey music which is my Christian playlist, aka He Heals playlist. I don't want to be listening to Doja Cat all weekend in the morning, because no offense, but it's so calm and so quiet outside that my Christian playlist matches the vibe, you know? I'm gonna put that playlist in the description because who said you cannot vibe to Christian music? This playlist is probably gonna put you onto something, so I want to share it, but for now, quickly get into it. already given an outfit check but I still want to do a mirror outfit check all right let's go <laughs> okay so I just got done with my 3.25 miles of running one thing I should say and that I forgot to say at the start of this video is that i've been like really sick for the past two weeks like purdue flu is a real thing but it's not the purdue flu yet you know i don't know i just felt sick my entire talking in this video may seem like the voice is funny or whatever but it's just my nose that is blocked i'm saying the right things in the right words but it sounds funny only because my nose is still blocked so be patient with me in this video. The first video that I posted, I was sick then. Now I'm at least recovering, but this recovery is taking forever. So that's another thing to keep in mind when you go to Purdue. Better carry all your medicines and whatever from home because it's so hard to get all right. So for every international student watching this. So I quickly, Took a shower, got ready, and this is what my outfit looks like. I completely forgot to do an outfit check because I'm kind of late to class, but it's a propulsion class. You'll see. I don't know what it's really called. I just call it a propulsion class, but for now, let me show you what outside looks like. Stagnation temperature should be high with things when uh, all the chemical energy is going in. Okay, well, I completely forgot that today is IR, so I'm quickly gonna go home, change for that, and then show you what it's all about actually. So I quickly came back from class and now I'm headed to IR. So IR is um, one of Purdue's biggest career fair. So yeah, I'll talk more about it. But before that, let me give you an outfit check. Outfit check for IR. All right. <laughs> yeah, so as I was saying, IR is an industrial roundtable. And it's one of Purdue's largest 
career fair where companies from different parts of America just come here to recruit for internships, co-ops, or even full-time. I am a senior, so I am actually looking for a full-time. But we'll see how that goes because I'm an international student. One advice that I would give to all freshmen watching this on my channel is that I know you think freshman year is just the start and you don't want to probably start yet. But let me tell you, freshman year is the time you actually start. Because once it gets to sophomore year and junior year, it's just going to be so hard to get there, which is why I'm like, I wish I put in the effort to get an internship my freshman year because I was lazy my freshman year. I did not really put in the effort to get an internship. I did get something, but it's just not what I wanted. And it was only sophomore year that I actually got my internship with Cummins. And I wish I did that my freshman year. So to all the freshmen watching this, you need to start your game freshman year. Because then it looks good on your resume for your sophomore year. And then you get a better opportunity your sophomore year. And then you keep growing or climbing that ladder. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. Um, I'll just show you what it really looks like at IR. The companies, I mean, the people on the lines are crazy. But that's about it. Why, why don't you say that? There was a lady. It was like a lady. You have to This video for just a day in my life. So as freshmen, how are you liking campus so far? It's fantastic. There's, there's always a lot of opportunities. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Yeah. It's, it's very fun meeting uh, a bunch of new people from all around the world. Indeed, indeed, I agree. Yeah, so are you just agreeing? Do you have no, an experience? Peter, it's true. It's just like you meet so many new people and like some people are so qualified. It actually motivates. <laughs> wow, yeah, so far away, yeah. <laughs> no, but like you meet people from like all around the world. I've met someone from Peru and um, Mexico. Like Argentina. Yeah, like I've never met someone from Peru before. They tell me all like, they're the best restaurants and everything. I learned a lot. I learned, I learned some very valuable things. Yeah. Yes. And like, I know, I know. like there's so much things like happening at the same at, all the time. Would you recommend incoming freshmen to like join Purdue? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yourself, like, what What are you hoping to get out of IR? IR experience. Just want to talk experience. to people. Talk make to people. friends, guys. Make trust friends. me, land an internship or call off. Trust me. Need... <laughs> do, do you want to? Do you have any hopes for IR? I really no. just want to talk with people. I want to meet new people, as he said, and um. I want to see what the hype is no, about, bro. It was like IR is crazy. Uh, like what Purdue offers in this field. Awesome. I've read about it, but I haven't really seen it. And it's very cool. Awesome. All these companies. All right. Thank you. Okay, guys. So I just finally got done with IR. Um, I got there like at 945 and it's right now it's 1145. And I only spoke to two companies. I don't think I have the patience to wait in those lines anymore. So I just give up. I would just apply online, honestly. Because most of the companies that come here don't even have the positions you're looking for. And the two companies I spoke to are my dream companies. But I don't know. We'll see what God has in store for me, you know? So yeah, I'm headed back to my dorm. Because I need to change quickly. And head over to lunch with a friend. I will show you what's on the menu for lunch. Stay tuned. So this is what I have for lunch. My camera is not focusing for some reason. Let me say hi. This is my friend Aishwarya, y'all. So pretty. Hello, 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 hello. Okay, y'all. So for my last meeting, I am an ambassador for the School of Aeronautics and Astronautics and I've been an ambassador for them for a year now. We have our first meeting of the semester where we have new ambassadors joining us. So I'm kind of to that and I want to show you my outfit for that. Outfit check. I kind of just tied my hair up. So hold on please. So a little bit about our ambassador program. So you have to interview with a couple of advisors and professors on the Aero Astro team at Purdue. And you 
you just have to show that you are passionate about advising and mentoring students and representing your school at Purdue. And that's it. That's all it takes to be an ambassador for the school. And I really love doing this because I get to meet incoming freshmen, incoming students, and get to share my journey with them, get to share my story with them. And this is my last year doing it. So I am really excited for what this year holds for me and for all of us and for the entire team of ambassadors. I'm going to show you what my meeting looks like. <laughs> Okay, y'all, another thing that's worth considering when you're making your decision to come to Purdue is the dining court lines. Look at that line to Wiley for dinner. That is actually crazy. I am not going here. I am going to the gym. So for our next thing, we are doing Express Core. And I'm excited for this one because it's my first time giving my ab workout another chance. So. Okay guys, so that brings me to the end of this video because it's currently 9 p.m. and 9 p.m. is literally my bedtime. So the whole purpose of this video is, you know, when I was a freshman or before I could join Purdue, I really wish there were videos like this that showed me what campus looked like, what a day in the life of a typical Purdue student or even an aerospace engineering student looked like so that I could have a feel for it. And me being an international student, I think I would have benefited a lot from a video like that. So this is the whole purpose of the video because I know that Purdue's rolling admission is due November 1st and the regular admission is due some sometime in Jan. Don't quote me on these dates and the numbers check it online. This was when it was due for me. And uh, I hope this really helped because I know that Purdue's Aero Astro degree is a really, really hard and competitive degree in this entire country. We are ranked hashtag one and hashtag three for our program in specific. But, you know, it can get really hard sometimes and it's so hard to have a work-life balance. But through this video, I wanted to show you that even as a senior and even though my classes are hard and stuff, I'm doing almost everything, which means I have a work-life balance. And for me, work-life balance has always been a really important thing because I just do not want to focus on academics. I really want to improve in other stuff too. So through this video, I want you to realize that it's okay if you don't have a work-life balance, but it is good that you started early on it's a really good skill to have it helps you like later on in life you know and uh, there's a myth or i don't know what it's called but people generally say that oh as an aerospace engineering student you really can't do anything but that's not true because you've just seen that like you can do everything you love if you prioritize and if you set proper goals Another thing that has really helped me have a work-life balance is a Google calendar. So the night before I would literally put everything on my calendar and like, okay, these are the tasks for tomorrow. This is what I've completed today. And it just goes that way, you know, so that kind of helps me go about my day just so that I know not even a single minute is wasted. And that's the secret to my work-life balance. And I hope that also helps you. I hope this a video and this vlog benefited you and I hope this convinces you to come to Purdue because this place is like my second home and it's given me so much. It's taught me so much and I'm so, so grateful for everything I have learned and everything that I have done here at Purdue. I was a different person before I came to Purdue and now I'm a different person. I'm someone who has grown through so much definitely make use of all the opportunities and everything that comes your way here at purdue if you do get in i would say accept your ex accept your admission because it will be one of the best decisions you ever make so if you ever want to reach out to me i have my instagram and my email in the description and also on my channel but you could also reach out in the comments and I'll be more than happy to answer any questions that you guys have. But thank you so much for sticking along if you've made it to the end of this video. I appreciate it so, so much. Let me know what you want to see next or if you want to see more of these kind of videos. But that's it for today, guys. Thank you and good night. Bye.